I love doing 10 minute arm workouts because you know what? Don't we all wanna have toned arms? We wanna have, you know, like a little bit of a tricep happening, slight definition. And you know what? The great thing about these types of workouts is you're using light weights and it's the repetition that is helping you. You know, to, to really build muscle, you need heavier weights. But I, I actually really just love these types of workouts because it can really make a difference for you in a short amount of time. So today, you can use one, two, or three pound weights, um, or 1.4 kilograms. Um, or you can use no weights. If, you know what, if you're just a beginner and you just wanna go through the motions, that is great too, because you gotta start somewhere. So we will start and we'll do 10 minutes and it's not an exact science as far as like our 30 seconds, but we'll be doing a variety of exercises, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and we'll be working through them and you'll just follow along with me and we're gonna have a good time. Here we're gonna go. All right, everybody, are we ready? So let's hold our weights and let's just do a few shoulder rolls. We can just go back, roll them up and back. Good, and let's turn it around, do the, do the front ways. Okay, and let's go. So we're gonna start with front raise to a lateral raise. Just nice and easy, no rush, take it easy and just hold your weights gently. You don't have to death grip the weights, like it's not necessary, they're not that heavy. So we're just gonna go up, front and out to lateral and down. And keep your core engaged, that always helps. That's our stabilizer right there. And then now we're gonna move on to our tricep kickbacks. So the important thing with our tricep kickbacks is that we wanna keep our elbows in and we want to extend, and you really want to feel that squeeze on the back. You know, you really want to squeeze that muscle. That is the whole point. So again, take it slow, no rush. Feel the contraction of the muscle. Perfect. Now, while we're still in this position, we're going to move on to a bent over row. So palms facing each other, and we're going to pull back. Perfect. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna make a combo out of these three moves and we're gonna do repeaters of eight of them together. So we're gonna go back now to our front raise with lateral raise and we're gonna do eights. So we're gonna get one, two, four, five, six, seven. And we'll go into our kickbacks. Eight of those. And then we're gonna do our row, eight of those. And we'll go back to our front raise, and we'll do fours. Maybe we can pick up the pace a little bit. Two, three, four, and kickbacks. and bent over row. Okay, so shift that out a little bit and we're gonna move on. We're gonna start our second set and we're gonna start with a nice bicep curl. So just easy. We're gonna start that, we'll do that for about 30 seconds. Again, always engage the muscle. Think about the muscle that you're using. Squeeze it at the top. And then we're gonna move over, move along to crossovers for 30 seconds. 
overs and unders. Arms around mid chest size area, not too high and not too low either. And our next move, we're gonna move into an overhead press. Palms facing each other. Get these shoulders engaged now. And then like before, we're gonna be putting the three moves together. to eight of our bicep curl. You can pick up the pace a little bit more here. Seven, eight, crossovers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, overhead press. So we're gonna take both weights, we're gonna hold them together, up over our head, and bend our elbows and extend to the top. We're doing this for 30 seconds. I mean, everybody wants a nice tricep. Who doesn't want a nice tricep? Although a nice bicep is nice as well, but triceps, you know, you tend to get that part under your arm, the bat wing, the dreaded bat wing. Nobody wants the bat wing. And this is gonna get rid of that. So we're now gonna move on to our forward press. Again, we're gonna keep the weights together. Into our chest and straight out. Try to keep the weights together. If at any time you need to drop the weights, no problem, drop the weights. Have less weight, have no weight, but try to keep moving. We're gonna move on from here to pull-ups. So, with our knuckles facing out, we're gonna pull up. Nice and easy. A variety of different motions here. Hitting biceps, our shoulders, our triceps. Then we're gonna move into our eights again. So we're gonna go back to our overhead tricep extensions, eights. Try not to let your arms flay out. Keep them tight to your body, to your head. And then our forward press, eight of those. Feeling that? I'm feeling that. I think that's about eight. And then our pull ups. Slow and steady. Don't rush it. Okay, and then fours. Sounds. 
because sometimes doing nothing is actually the hardest thing to do at all, all together. So just hold, and if you start shaking, then lucky you. But try to hold on, and then we're gonna move into a bent arm lateral raise. So just into a 90 degree, and here we go. So just, you know, do a jab, a cross, a jab, and a cross. Try to put some power into it. Right from your shoulder. Perfect. How are you feeling? Amazing job. Okay, so you know what? That's 10 minutes really fast. So maybe we can do a little bit of a stretch together. We really worked our triceps. So let's put our hand over head and pull your elbow down, straight trying to put those down your back. One side and the other side. You know, you can come back to these over and over again and You'll get better at it. Maybe you'll be able to graduate from the one pounds to the two pounds or the three pounds. I don't really, five pounds, I actually think five pounds is too much for this because it's just the sheer repetition, the, the volume. So I like three pounds. I think three pounds is really great. And we got a nice little stretch. And again, you know, you can always stack these. Maybe do an ab workout once you finish this, or maybe you've already done an ab workout, so good for you. And um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you all the next time.